These monitor lizards can easily kill king cobras. Monitor lizards and king cobra snakes are not exactly pets for everyone. They are very sticky, huge, and what's most important, venomous. So it is not the best choice for you if you want to cuddle with a pet at night. But what is funny about these creepy crawling creatures is that they do not like each other too, and they have their pretty valid reasons to do so. This is Wild Facts, and today we will explore a different side of this world and learn about interesting relationships between king cobras and monitor lizards. We will find the lizards among this family that can easily kill king cobras, and some of them that are not as good at it. Before we begin, I suggest you subscribe to this channel to become a part of this amazing community of animal enthusiasts and learn even more about other fantastic creatures who live on this crazy blue planet. Also, do not forget to click on a bell to get notified about all the new uploads on this channel and do not miss any amazing stories about wonderful things in this world. And now, let's take a closer look at monitor lizards, king cobras, and their not-so-kind relationship. Let's get to it. A word about monitor lizards. I will start our journey down the cobra killing road on the lizard side of things. So what the heck are monitor lizards? This is a family of huge lizards from the genus named Varanus. Depending on the species, these lizards can really vary in size. Some smaller guys like the Dampier Peninsula monitor can grow to be only about 7.87 inches, 20 centimeters long. The biggest monitor is of course Komodo dragon the enormous guy who can grow to be about 10 feet, three meters long. Also, let's not forget about the grandest lizard that ever existed, a marvelous Australian Megalina, who is a monitor lizard and a close relative to Komodo dragons. This gigantic fella could reach 23 feet, seven meters in length, and even though Australia was full of huge beasts back then, it is still very impressive. By the way, have you already checked out my Komodo dragon and Megalania videos? They are absolutely awesome and tell detailed stories of these huge, beautiful creatures. But now, back to monitors. Of course, in the context of this story, we will involve only big monitors who are strong enough to deal with king cobras and the ones who actually live in one area with our snake friends. Lizard monitors live everywhere around Africa, South and East Asia, and Oceania, which is a much wider habitat than the king cobras one. Also, let's talk about monitor lizards' advantages. The big ones are pretty slow creatures for land animals. For example, Komodo dragon can only run at a speed of up to 12.5 miles per hour, 20 kilometers an hour, which is much slower than us. But what the monitor lizards lack in speed, they have in wit. These creatures are some of the smartest reptiles that exist. They are very skilled predators and usually very successful in their hunts because of their smart tactics. The monitor lizards don't blink really often and it is believed that monitors have really good sight. Even though these lizards are reptiles and cold-blooded, monitor lizards have a nice metabolism, comparable to mammals. Almost all of the members of this family are believed to possess some kind of venom in their mouths and can be immune to some types of venom as well. Even without that, most of the big monitors are incredibly strong, have big strong jaws, and hunt very smartly thanks to their wit. A word about King Cobras. Now it's time to talk about the king cobras. The Latin name of this creature, Ophiophagus hana, means snake-eating nymph, where the hana part is the name of the nymph of Greek mythology. As you may guess, king cobras are not fans of other crawling relatives and mainly hunt on them instead of being with them. They even eat each other for crying out loud. The snake is endemic to jungles in southern and southeast Asia. Even though it is a cobra, the king cobra is the only member of its genus, Ophiophagus. It differs from other cobra pals drastically, especially in scale patterns. The average size of the king cobra is about 10 to 13 feet, from three to four meters. But we have a documented case of one specimen that was almost 20 feet, six meters long. They also can be very hefty, up to 22 pounds, 10 kilograms, with female cobras much smaller than their male counterparts. As for the speed, king cobras here can't tell you anything particularly fantastic. Their maximum speed is about 3.7 miles per hour, six kilometers an hour. Yay to lizards. But it doesn't mean that king cobras can't give you something special. You don't name something king if it doesn't possess royal qualities. The most royal quality of these beautiful snakes we can name is their very extremely dangerous venom. 
The king cobra is the second most venomous snake in the world, and its bite paralyzes the prey, provokes huge amounts of pain, and almost every time is deadly. It can bite without putting venom to use, but it happens rarely. The species is considered not to be aggressive, and it rarely attacks other than in self-defense, unless you come really close to it. It's very nice of them, considering the really dangerous venom they have. The Turmoil Relationship Between Monitor Lizards and King Cobras So now we know everything about these two species, and it's time to look at their rivalry. Interestingly enough, even though most snakes do love hunting on lizards, including monitors, the King Cobra is not a huge fan of this activity, and in this situation, monitor lizards are the ones who can and will attack poor, highly venomous creatures to feast on their cold-blooded bodies. We had documented cases when Asian water monitors attacked and killed cobras. You see, monitors kill with a bite on the neck of potential prey, so a much faster monitor can easily chase a king cobra. In a fight, if we talk about a collision between an adult monitor, like the water one, and king cobra, I bet that monitor will probably win. Asian monitors are the ones that live near our serpent friends. Adult ones can grow up to be 10 feet, 3 meters, and they weigh about 42 pounds. 19 kilograms, so you can assume that this monster can win thanks to its wit, speed, and size. Another big guy that can easily kill a king cobra is, of course, our old friend Komodo Dragon. This fella has a huge advantage that gives him the ability to laugh at the biggest king cobras approaching the lizard. This advantage is its very thick scales, which are too much for the king cobra to bite into. As for the snake, its soft body does not have this protective system, and unfortunately, the snake will fall in a fight with Komodo Dragon. But there are cases when the King Cobra will be the winner over the Monitor Lizard, and it will feast on it with pleasure. It can happen if a big adult King Cobra finds a Monitor Lizard child, or when we talk about smaller species. But as I already mentioned, fights between these two grand species rarely happen, since they have two different paths in life. Monitor Lizards are usually too big and too hard to catch for these snakes. And since they do prefer other snakes over lizards, the King Cobra would probably crawl away from Asian Water Monitor or Komodo Dragon. As for the lizards, they can find less venomous prey, or even carrion, and don't involve themselves in useless fights. After all, it's not so lizard of them. But, and I promise that this will be the last but today, sometimes when these battles happen, it can become a viral event. In September of 2021, the video of a Monitor Lizard and a King Cobra fighting was all over the internet. They fought for about 10 minutes before understanding that they just couldn't beat each other and in the end, they just went different ways. Even though the lizard was bitten, it seemed to be okay. The snake was fine too. So as you see, these two little fellows are pretty similar in strength, but if I had to take a bet, I would rather put it on the monitor lizard. The king cobra just doesn't have enough teeth to kill our friend. So how did you like this story? Did you find out something new about monitor lizards and king cobras? Let me know about the parts you love the most and leave your suggestions for the future videos in the comment section below. I can't wait to read your thoughts, and until the next time, farewell!